Hello there. In this video, we will be practicing some skills by making a logo. The basic shape of this logo is three ovals. So I will be using the ellipse tool. If you toggle the snapping button, then we can make our shape the same size as the model. We get these guides. Change the thickness of the outline by going to stroke and adjusting this slider. Now, we want to make it thicker on the sides and thinner at the top, like this. So go to this line at the top and click the pressure bar. You can see two nodes. By dragging this node, the curve gets thinner on one end. We can also add nodes by clicking along the line. I'll put this one up, to make the line thicker, then this one down to make it thinner. Then this one up to go thick again, and this one down at the same point as the first one. I want these edges to be thicker, so I will just adjust my nodes. Now, for this next part I will take the ellipse tool and make another oval right here. Then take the move tool and place it in the top middle of the bigger oval. We have snapping on so we can see when the shape is aligned and centered. This one is actually thicker at the bottom. So we'll go to pressure again and click reset. I will add one node in the middle and drag the end one down. The opposite one will automatically move simultaneously. Now, I'll place the last oval. And reset the pressure. This shape is not sitting right at the bottom, I don't want this part sticking out, and I don't want this pointy part. So go to layers at the top, and click expand stroke. If you take the node tool, you'll notice this is now its own shape, not a stroke. Now we can align the bottom of it with the bigger oval. Take the node tool again. Select these four extra nodes and press delete. Click the top node and drag out the handles to make the shape more rounded. Now the same on the other side, you can drag the node tool over the nodes to select them all together. To make the side thinner, take this node and press the left arrow key whilst holding shift. Shift will make it jump instead of moving in small amounts. Do the same with the bottom node. This is thicker than the side so press up arrow twice. This should be a bit thinner, so we'll adjust it with the pen tool. Now we have completed our freehand logo, but I'm going to show you an easier more accurate way. First, zoom into the guide. Take the ellipse tool and draw an oval over it. Go to the color panel and drag this slider to lower the opacity. Now we can see the guide below and make our shapes accurately the same as it. Go to pressure to get the right shape as we did before. Now the next circle. Follow the same steps as before, and make sure you align your shape with the guide. And now the final circle. Now, let's move this one out the way, and then hold shift to select our new shape. Move it into the blank area and put the opacity back up. Now, 
Now we have learnt two different ways of making logos like this. If you have learnt something from this video and want more tutorials like this, support me by subscribing. Please don't hesitate to ask any questions in the comments, I will be happy to help you.